airclips.com. Good morning from Vamdrup, Denmark, and welcome to another edition of the Airclips Ultimate Cockpit Movies. Today I'm greeting you here from the headquarters of Danish Air Transport, which you can see right behind me. It looks a little bit like a family home, but it's an airline headquarter. In fact, I'm going to meet Jesper, the CEO and actually owner of Danish Air Transport, a long-standing traditional airline here in Denmark. Since he is very busy and doesn't have too much time, somehow um, I managed to persuade him to combine one thing with the other. So as he's going from Vamdrup uh, right over here to Billund Airport today, I may join him along a helicopter ride. The main part then will be three lovely flights on the ATR-72. There's a lot of stuff for you, a lot of cockpit movies, a lot of nice people to meet. Come on over, let's enjoy a great day here in Denmark and beyond. Thank you for being with us. I told you a moment ago now let me introduce to you mr jesper rongholm hello guys our host today thank you very much for having us and you're thank welcome. you very much for taking us for the ride you're welcome let's uh, go to billund thank you looking yeah. forward yep. let's get out of here there's not a lot of room here but uh, it should work have a look at london guys oh. by the heart brand new ATR 72 600 behind us and it's a short turnaround boarding has already started here it's free seating so very easy and uh, off we go let's have a look I just took off my mask for a second of course on board and in the airport I have to wear it come on join me for the ride
it's gonna be a 50 minute flight only so uh, short and sweet flight time today um, and then actually I'm scheduled to do the three cockpit flights tomorrow on board here nothing much to say super nice flight experience um, brand new aircraft everybody wearing the masks very disciplined of course but no big deal so yeah uh, it's a holiday makers flight to Bornholm I guess and I'm getting into the spirit as well Today we're doing a flight uh, from uh, Bornholm. Uh, it's a small island outside of uh, Denmark and doing some domestic flying. Uh, today we're shooting for air clips, as you probably know. You'll have a look at this video. Also, uh, as I said, working for Danish Air Transport. Uh, I'm a captain in uh, Danish Air Transport for the last uh, 13 years, doing some line training as well. Hi guys, uh, my name is Kim Lund. I'm a first, uh, senior first officer on uh, the ATR as well. Uh, I joined that back in uh, May 18. Uh, before that, I came from uh, Flybe, British uh, carrier you might have heard of. Again, and uh, now we're doing the walk around. So what I start off with uh, looking at, I'll be looking at the hydraulics uh, bay. Make sure that uh, there's pressure in the tank. You can see the uh, you can actually see the hydraulic fluid going up and down in the inside the wind. It also show you if it's full, if it needs to be refilled. Have a look at the propeller, spin it around, look at the, uh, the blades, so there's nothing uh, broken. The, uh, the uh, de-icing, uh, uh, everything looks good. Then we continue forward. And also make sure that all the lights are good, all the glasses on the uh, on the wing lights and the uh, emergency lights are good. Not, you're not allowed to have cracks in those. Also make sure that all the areas are clean, of course, like it says. And uh, also general conditions. Wheels, want to make sure that the, there's a pin inside. So make sure that this, the wheels are locked. If that falls out, the wheels might come off. Also general conditions of the lights and the tires in the front. And also winter time, it's very, uh, very good to have a look inside there because sometimes you get the slush that comes up into wheel well. And wear and tear of the wheels, all looks good. Track and also of course the, the uh, lights, everything is good. Morning ladies and gentlemen from the flight, thank you captain. Martin Rasmussen with my crew workers aboard this uh, DOT flight bound for Copenhagen. Flight time today in the region of 25 minutes. Weather in Copenhagen reporting uh, a bit windy as here in uh, Bornholm and uh, some few clouds around 15 degrees centigrade. In a couple of moments, the camera will point out some safety features. Please give them your full attention. Have a nice flight. Starting engine number one on Alpha and Bravo. Check. I'm ready. Ready. Jeg ser, at de rummene ovenover dem, eller helt ind under stolen, foran dem. Det er jo åbent. Samt ved alle nødegange skal alle løse igen, så jeg placerer de rummene ovenover dem. Jeg vil ikke spille.
Bil om at rette bord og rykke ind til lodret position. Hold pressure. Spænde røg bliver beskadet i løbet. Right side clear. Number two. Start number two and Alpha Bravo. Ready. Ready. 45%. Start off. ITT635. Check. Bravo back and line up uh, 29. Clear left. Right clear. And yes, man. Check left. And check right. Okay. 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 Yeah. Ready. Yeah. I want to tell you, ladies, 25 kilo wing are ready for departure. Okay, 25 kilo, wind 2, 7, 10 degrees, 2, 2, 0, runway 2, 9, and a 10 for takeoff. Okay, for takeoff, runway 2, 9, and a 10 is 3, 5 kilo. Check, takeoff, timing start. Power set. On. And power set. 70. Check my controls. Your controls. E1, rotate. Positive climb, gear up. Hello, green, check. Flap zero. Gear up. Climb procedure complete. Flaps up. And after takeoff checklist. After takeoff checklist. Landing gear is up. Flaps zero. Power management NP. Climb 82 check. Bleed valves are on. Taxi takeoff lights is off. And altimeters. Standard set checked. After takeoff checklist completed. Hi. Hi. Would you like some more coffee? Uh, no. Actually, I'm I'm uh, I'm good. Yes, still good. Got, yeah. Still got some left. <laughs> I'm happy. Oh, yeah. All right. Yes. Thank well, you. Bye. Bye. But maybe you have seen the some other videos of the ATR uh, 500 or uh, the older ones, the uh, 42 300, which we also have in the company. It's uh, it's uh, of course a, a different layout in the cockpit. Uh, um, those older ones you have like uh, more like this, yeah, also like a 727 classic. It's like uh, two minor screens, and then all of everything else is uh, analog. You got analog speed, analog height, uh, altitude, and then you have like uh, most of them have also the analog uh, engine instruments. So this is the 600, some people call it the pilot's uh, upgrade, it's more or less uh. upgraded in the cockpit. Uh. So now that you've met the pilots and seen the cockpit and the outside of the aircraft, we would like to introduce you to the most important part of the cabin. My name is Gisela and I'm Swedish and live in Sweden. Uh, I'm Copenhagen based, so every day I go with a train to Copenhagen to work. I am Tanya, I am from South Africa, yeah, a bit different country. I have been um, in a travel for 25 years. I've started off as a travel consultant for 10 years, then I moved to the Middle East where I flew for Gulf Air. As you may know, uh, Denmark is known for their windmills. So what better way to show off the capital of Denmark than putting up 20 windmills uh, just along the uh, <laughs> flight path into Copenhagen Airport. And then another 48. Oh yeah, <laughs> on the other side of the yeah. bridge. You're off. Two hundred minimums. Minimums. Land. Check. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. Pitch. 
Jok Patos. Jutros Majok. Oh, Marshall is there. Today we're flying to uh, run after this and that and on run it's an island very expensive fuel I think yeah. the fuel is like 70% more expensive on run so we don't want to fuel there so we're going to get some fuel now in uh, from Copenhagen to fly to run and then we're going to fly to Billund also a domestic flight in yeah. Uh, Denmark yeah it's our Danish uh, 36 we have uh, red lights and altitude thank you Danish 36 home two to right set for takeoff two seven zero degrees one six coasting two two Clear takeoff from a two to right Danish uh, 36 roll. Clear takeoff. Yeah. Went from uh, right. Flight controls. Check. Transponder TCAS. Check. Airflow is uh, normal. Cabin crew is advised. Bleed valves. They are on. External lights. They are on. Lateral flight director bars is uh, centered. And rudder cam centered. Before takeoff, check this complete. Time is done. Power set. 70. Check. My controls. Your controls. B1. Rotate. Positive climb. short flights it's uh, usually just a direct uh, to the, the field yeah yeah and now we are passing uh, overhead the southern tip of uh, Sweden before again uh, passing over uh, the water towards Van uh, <laughs> Okay, so um, I have two sons, a 10-year-old and a 14-year-old. And when I told my 14-year-old son that I was doing this, uh, this uh, clip today, and that uh, people are going to watch this. A lot of people are going to watch this. Maybe a couple of hundred thousand of a couple of yeah yeah a lot of hundred thousand of people. He said, "Daddy, you have to slip them my Instagram account." <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> just to make him happy, <laughs> this is his <laughs> Instagram. <laughs> Rasmussen Manfred. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. I mean, he's also very interested in flying. He wants to be a pilot once. Yeah. Uh, so I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to, of course, follow them. <laughs> that was just a fun thing. <laughs> but, uh, so. and you can see on this screen here we have the traffic below. It's uh, just here on our screen, uh, just in front of us, uh, minus 3.9. It means 3,900 feet below. And uh, the arrow besides it means that it's climbing up. So it's probably just going to level off maybe a flight of a then, yeah. as we refer here to 9.0. Uh, so now, on uh, this short flight, I mean, there's not much uh, cruising to do. I mean, it's a short cruise, so we don't have time for much more than a no. coffee or so. No. But uh, that's it. On the next flight, we're going to fly to Bilun. It's about uh, yeah, 45, 50 minutes. Yeah, it's set to 53 minutes 53 due minutes, to so the headwind. Yeah, so uh, there'll be a little bit more time on cruise uh, to talk to you guys and stuff. But uh, yeah. this is... Uh, now we passed Martin's uh, house. Yeah, exactly. Actually, right down there. Yeah, and right on down there. the way to Bilun, we passed mine. 
<laughs> and the southern coastline of Bonholm can offer you white sandy beaches. Yeah. It's a wonderful place to be in the summertime. Although the water is not, uh, not as warm as uh, you would the hope. Mediterranean. <laughs> <laughs> but what the heck, we're Vikings. <laughs> 15. Let's be checked. Oh, we're turning left. Hello. Hey, it's coming clear. Coming clear. Thanks. Thank you. Now you can see, uh, as we were talking about before, the uh, trend on needle. the speed. It's going up and down quite sensitive uh, in a bit windy conditions. Even though it's not too windy. 100. Okay. Yeah. Fifty, forty, thirty, twenty, ten. Nicely done. Too low pitch. And the mic controls. Your controls. Mayok. We're at one minute and fifteen seconds. After landing check is completed. Here we got the signals, of course, from the crown hander, and that's where one is to stop. Like we said, feather one and two. One and two to feather. Get the seat signs off so the passengers can get up and get out of their seats. And you are clear to start ready? engine number one. Okay, starting number one on Bravo position. Yeah. Ready? Ready. Starter on. NH. Fuel open. A ignition. 21 seconds. Checked. Right side number clear. Two. Starting number two on Bravo. Starter okay. on. ITT 645. 23 seconds. Checked. Parameters stabilized. We got a clear signal from the ground crew, which means we can go to uh, auto on the propellers. Oh, I'm back to clear left. Ready? Right, clear. And uh, instrument check left. Instrument check right. 261 kilo traffic is to a 16. So we'll stay overhead water south of the field, 300 feet. That's coming in. It's 261 kilo. 261 kilo, wind 270 degrees, 18 knots, runway 290, clear for takeoff. So two F-16s at 300 feet south of the... They're having fun. They're having fun, yeah. Okay. Take off. Probably reset. Armed. Power set. 70. Check your controls. My controls. B1. Rotate. Gear up. They're not green. You see the F-16s? Yeah, two of them out there. Yeah. On the left. But do you have them visually? Uh, yep. Oh, look at those. 90 degree pitch. <laughs> look at that. Shooting. Oh, you're kidding. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. I, I don't know if you got that. <laughs> too, but that was a sight of surprise, two F-16s doing the vertical. Yeah. Very nice. Wh wh Very nice. It's called a Cobra, right? Yeah. Yeah. Something That's like that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. We'll just keep uh, full steam ahead with the uh, 170 knots here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So uh, you'll do the numbers again? I'll do the numbers. Thanks. Yeah. That's the way. <laughs> the captain is doing nothing. <laughs> so he just climbed up to flight level 250 in... <laughs> did, did you see it? Yeah. It was just like... You went vertical? Go We're going to climb, yeah. Boom. <laughs> that was violent. <laughs> that was cool. And and the Danish uh, 61 kilo, we're actually halfway with flight level 140 for cruise today. 61 kilo, Roger, start climb 140. We might actually see the bridge connecting uh, Sealand to uh, Fyn 
before uh, proceeding inbound to uh, Loxa and straight into to Bilon. Yeah. Uh, and like you see, this is actually one of the longer flights, longer domestic flights yeah. in Denmark, even yeah. though it's only 50 minutes. That's, <laughs> that's how small Denmark is. That's how it is. <laughs> Terminal 4505, you may now descend. So the cabin crew was kind enough to give me a banana. <laughs> I'll have that. <laughs> I actually for for, forgot to buy some food myself. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, now we're cruising here and we'll be cruising here for like uh, probably 25 30 minutes before we uh, yeah. approach Billund. So, in the meanwhile, I'll just uh, give you some other information about uh, this airplane in here. Uh, for you that guys are flying this, you know of most likely everything already, but for the other guys that don't know much so much about flying this is just like the basic thing so of course we have the power levers for the uh, for the engines here uh, the parking brake handle and then uh, further along we have this the standby instrument and this airplane is very nice also quite sophisticated it uh, can do a lot of things uh, you have of course uh, selection of uh, the Q&A and stuff and standard and then also you can go into the menu now it's selected to the VFS, uh, VHF so we can actually tune what frequency if we yeah. lose everything we can yeah. actually see here what frequency we're transmitting and on yeah. and also change and you can also set it up on an ILS which means, which means you can actually fly the ILS on this little uh, standby. <laughs> and uh, now we are passing uh, Copenhagen Airport on our right side. Yeah. And uh, continuing straight over Sealand uh, in uh, approximately 20 miles. 25 miles will pass over my house. <laughs> we should have like a uh, Wi-Fi on board and then you could ask questions. And <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's uh, not go there. No, let's <laughs> not go there. <laughs> so we could also talk a little bit about the company we're working for, Danger yeah. Transport. Yeah. Uh, old uh, family company. Old family owned company. Uh, Jesper Rungholm is the owner uh, with his uh, family, of course. Now uh, Robert Rungholm, his son, is uh, taking over. And now it's a really big company, uh, well, quite big company. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we have some uh, MD-80s. Uh, yeah. We're doing lots of flying with that. And uh, we have some Airbus. And so I think we had the most was five. I yeah. think we're down now to about three. Three, uh, uh, is it two A320s and one A321? Yeah, yeah, correct. And then a lot of ADRs. Uh, if you get a warning that actually ICE is building, yeah, then you can select the de uh, de icing on. Sure. Eight miles. Check. Center for extra hip for right hand approach. I will call you uh, three. Cabin crew advised. Landing here. Down. Three green. Flaps. Third check. Power management. Take off. Tier low speed. Checked. Icing lights. Off. Exterior lights on. And before landing, check this. Complete. Checked. 107 magenta. Disconnect. Check. Get a feel for for the wind here. Yep. Wind check. 300 is 19. A maximum 24. Minimum 8. Yeah, so a little gust as well. Yeah. Good. 50, 40. Speed on approach. Speed 117. Uh, yeah. Chief at 117 Juliet, Bill on a fault. Hello, and identify no traffic recording. Actually, one. Uh, I'll slide down. Two Check. Yep. And my controls. Your controls, my yoke. Thank you. And here in Bilon it's uh, quite a long way actually for the taxi route, that's why we don't go to too much reverse or low pitch, no. we just let it roll just down. Let it roll, yeah. So here in Bilon it's always a bit more elaborate uh, taxi uh, or instruction from the marshal right clear. to uh, park in between these jets and stuff, but it's always interesting. Here we stop. Check. Feather one or two. One or two feather. And here comes the boss fetching the cameras. Guys. Thank you Hope all you from the, the Danish Air Transport. Thank you very much, guys. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Yeah. So we are back where it all started yesterday. Hope you enjoyed the rides. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Airclips.com.